the highs and lows of our emotions. There is the feeling of being tortured whenever we were given difficult projects and assignments. The feeling of joy whenever our hard works were recognized. The feeling of satisfaction after every end of school year knowing that we survived yet again another year. And finally, there is the feeling of triumph as we are here today, the day that we have been waiting for, the day we get to see the fruits of our hard works, our creation year. However, I could not have done this without the many people who are behind the greatest accomplishments. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my heartfelt gratitude for my parents, for all the sacrifices and support they have given me, to my sister who helped me in so many ways. As my parents, I hear you tell me how much you are proud of me and how much you love me. But as your daughter is standing here before you today, I say to you, I am proud to have parents like you and I love you very much. Thank you for everything. To my Lola Feli, Tita Helen, Tita Luz, Tita Fe, and to my other titas and titas, thank you for the, for the support that you have given me all these years. To my Tita Melvin and to my Lola Rosa who passed away, thank you for the inspiration and for being my guardian angels. I also take this opportunity to thank all the Paula staff and Mam Politico. For you have given us the freedom to dare, the courage to excel, and the belief that we can achieve our best. Thanks to all of our teachers since elementary until high school. Mam Chela, Mam Cherry, Mam Mercy, Mam Sheila, Mam Quincy, Mam Aubrey, Sir LD, Sir Baiz, and our advisor, Mam Sheila. We all salute you for helping us to develop our skills and talents. You not only taught us about textbooks, but you also taught us about the virtues of life. May I request for Matthew to please stand up? Let's give our teachers our best look. And most especially, I thank God with all my heart for always making everything possible, for without Him, we are nothing. As we march down the aisle and receive our diploma, we will look back with a smile in our many years in Polo. We will say the words, Dito na simula ang masasayang araw. This institution is the place where many of our cherished memories were made, where many of our first happened. Our first day is promenade, first school play, first camp, our first safety drills, and many other firsts. Because of this, Paul Love has become the place that we will keep coming back to. Unity, that is the word defines us as a batch. Our small class have accomplished many things in these years, but the biggest accomplishment to reach is standing and sharing in this stage together as graduates. To my classmates, thank you for my for making my high school life memorable. You guys are the most important people I found at Polylove Academy. Whichever path you might choose to go, we will forever share a common name. At this moment, I would like to challenge everyone to make a difference. As a toothpaste commercial puts on, tayo ang gagawa ng magandang balita, I am calling everyone to make a stand, find your passion, and make a history. Live an impact to our country and to our world. If there comes a time that we may fail, never give up. Failure happens so we can expand and improve our horizons. Be brave to take risks. We will accept the challenge of bringing and making good news because we are the next generation of future leaders. To my fellow graduates, we made it. We are now accomplished high school graduates. We are young, brave, and determined batch. We are the class of 2012. Congratulations, everyone. Good luck, and God bless us all. And to Keren Lois Medina, Victor Victoria Altaveros, members of the Board of Trustees, the Honorable President and Directress of the Polydoc Academy, Mrs. Solanda Politico, the Vice President, Pastor Nestor Politico Sr., the Board Secretary and Assistant Administrator, Mrs. Nessa Joy Politico, Engineer Nestor Politico Jr., the Board Treasurer, and wife, Dr. Mary Ruth Politico, 
the school's position. Members of the faculty, fellow graduates, parents, visitors, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Our high school years seem to have passed in a series of colorful activities, classes attended, grades attained, extracurricular activities, social events, and lessons learned. Thankfully indeed, we have come to this wonderful reality that in the next school year, we, the graduates of 2012, will no longer be part of Bonnie Love and Rollies, but will be out there facing new challenges in a totally different university environment in pursuit of educational excellence. To my fellow graduates and friends, especially to Myra Beneventura and John Melton Medina, thank you very much for sharing your life with me during our years of learning journey. Through the years, I realized that you also have shaped my journey. <laughs> Just be the best that you can be in the year to come for our God's greater glory. To our junior class and younger schoolmates, I encourage you all to give your very best in breaking all the academic and extracurricular accomplishments that we have set and entrusted to you. Because I firmly believe you can do it much better than us if only you would give your best to our Lord, the Master Teacher of us all. We must express our gratitude for the wonderful learning opportunities that we were exposed to in our classrooms and in our school grounds. Our thanks must go to all the management and staff of the Polydub Academy. To our directress, Mrs. Yolanda Politico, school administrators, staff, and especially to my teacher since I was in my elementary years until high school, Mrs. Jella Peña Redondo, Ms. Jella Pearl Florida, Ms. Mercy Jimenez, Ms. Sheila De La Torre, Ms. Aubrey Alunan, Sir Elty Francisco, Ms. Quincy Ann Adriano, and to our class advisor, Mrs. Sheila De La Cruz, and to our commanding officer, Master Sergeant Billy Baez, for your significant contributions in providing us with quality secondary education. Of course, our heartfelt thanks must also extend to our very supportive parents and guardians who are here with us. May I request all the parents here to stand up to be recognized, please? Let's all give them our warmest round of applause. Thank you very much. To my parents, Pastor Arthur Medina and Martin Medina, and to other parents, thank you very much. You have remained committed to our education, but more importantly, you have remained committed in terms of training us up in the way that we should go. You have stood by our sides in our quest for learning. You have worked so hard to provide us with our much needed school fees and daily allowances, and patiently but joyfully assisted us in doing our homeworks and class projects. Indeed, you are our best teachers in the best school facility called home. Let me end my speech with a quotation from the Holy Bible in the book of Joshua chapter 